Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello Aquarius, welcome now to Thursday. Well, I predict a sunny and social day overall for the Aquarians. The moon in Sagittarius brings your emotions to your sphere of influence. You are passionate, you are uh, empathetic, you are emotionally available to your subjects, whatever that happens to be. That's what I call a sphere of influence. So that's friends, that's colleagues, that's your people. It's your community. You're sensitive in that regard. Maybe you can put out an emotional Facebook update. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Taurus. This month, the Aquas are working on self-nurturing, and today the Sun is one degree, and there's no planet ruling the Sun. So today is a day of assessing. This month, we're going to work on how well you nurture yourself. Now, Aquarians, in my experience, although very capable of self-nurturing, usually do not. I tend to find that you have this ability to detach. You have this ability to not take things personally. And I have found that when it comes to the way you manage and mother yourself, you tend to detach as well, just from knowing you rather closely. Either way, you must have a spiritual mechanism in place that can soothe, nurture, and heal your soul. And you can't rely on a hospital or a light worker or someone else to do it. You've got to be spiritually independent. In the next 10 days, the universe will be unveiling aspects of your self-nurturing that are failing you. That might be a roommate choice. That might be a home choice. That might be the choice of beds you sleep in. That might be the choice of foods you eat. That might be the way you respond when someone hurts your feelings. But whatever is not working with self-nurturing and your ability to ground is going to become a problem in the next 10 days. And Venus, Venus has just hopped over into Aries, giving creativity and love vibration to your thoughts. That's going to allow you to heal some of that attitude issue that you were working on last month and make you incredibly creative. So for those of you who are writers, authors, etc., you are very creative with Venus in this space. It is time to write your dialogue and create. And with Venus crossing over Uranus in the next 72 hours, you could very well have a creative epiphany intellectually happen. So real potential creative breakthroughs with attitude, thoughts, or communications. And it's Thursday. I've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Room Therapist live today. Today she's going to dive into Rosewood and how the power of the scent of Rosewood will help you ground and help you think more clearly. They apply to the Aries Taurus vibration. See what Sadiqa has to say and what may help you with. She's live everywhere the garden is blooming. All right, that's all I have for today, but I'm back tomorrow with your full weekend forecast, Aqua. Till then, live, love, be. So cold.